Hi everyone, it's Kevin back from Six of Stones. Yes, we got the account up and running again, so that's good. Yay. All right. Uh, so we're going to start making videos again. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys kind of like what I do with owls as far as changing their eyes. Okay, because we can have basic eyes on an owl or you could dress it up a little bit. I'm going to show you uh, there's plenty of videos out there and we'll probably carve an owl down the road also. But I want to show you how I kind of make a little twist and change the eyes up a little bit on your owl so you can have different effects. Uh, for instance, you can have an owl like this, okay, which is just like a, a basic type of owl, okay. And he's got, you know, basic eyes where I put them in with the eye tool, and then I would paint them yellow, and then just put a black dot in the middle, and you have some basic owl eyes. Or you can go to eyes like this, which I prefer. Let's see if I can get that in the video here. There we go. Can you see that? So I'm going to show you how to do this type of eye as opposed to just a basic type of eye. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll play and see what we can come up with. Because I really don't like that just kind of boring, just basic look. I mean, you could just burn them too with the eye tool and people do that. So there's many different ways to do eyes. So this video, what we're going to do is play with a couple different ways to make owl eyes specifically. But you can use this on other types of eyes also. Okay. For instance, like I said, you can come down to here. Let me see, can I turn this around? You can come down to here and just have basic eyes and what, or you can have a little bit more dramatic eyes, okay? And these are all just basic. See how goofy they look when they're just circles, you know? So what I wanna do is focus on this type of eye. And we'll show you how to dress them up with a little bit of paint also. Okay, so that being said, let's get started. All right, so how do we go from this set of eyes to making a set like this? Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to do is back this up for a minute. All right. And... This right here is a saber tooth flame burr, okay? I have it in a basic Arbor Freight die grinder, all right? What we're gonna do, instead of making a whole new owl and making eyes, I wanna change these eyes because I don't really like them. So I'm gonna show you the process and how I do that with just this bit and a simple cheap die grinder, okay? Again, it's a saber tooth flame burr, right? And what we're gonna do, if I can stay out of the camera so you can see, Try to come over here. And we're just going to take that off just like that. All I did was cut across the eye that was already formed with my eye tool, okay? And I even had it painted. I just ground it off. But I made a line across and then took this out. Now I have eyelids. And now it's real easy to put a hole there or just paint, okay? But we could put a hole here for a pupil or an iris. And you have totally different eyes already. Now, if I want to make the hole, I can use the same bit put my glasses back on here okay and that to be big now you have a whole different set of eyes right now this right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand this down with the finger sander or even a Dremel and uh, it cuts all that would work, you know. And 
I am gonna shape his beak and everything, of course, and paint. But we're gonna sand all this down and we're gonna paint this top yellow up here. We're gonna paint that black. And I'll show you how you can dress these eyes up and make them look totally different than what we started with, okay? Okay, let's move on. Okay, we're gonna do a little quick sanding with the finger sander and smooth this stuff up. And we'll get to some paint. Just gonna clean this whole face up here. Now, whatever I can't get with the finger sander, I'll just take another Dremel bit and I'll outline these a little bit better. I could use hand tools also. I could use a chisel, a V tool, whatever you prefer, you know, the tool you like to use. But I'm gonna use a Dremel. I'm gonna take that eye, I'm gonna redefine it by cutting circles out a little bit better and making that uh, eyelid a little more prominent so we can paint it and we can see. But I want to clean up the paint in here and I want to get the rest of the paint off there, which I can't quite get with the finger sander. So now that it's smooth or smoother, I'll finish the rest up with the Dremel and then we'll be ready to paint them. Okay, let's do that. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this zoomed in for you here. Maybe I'll use the Dremel with the bit I already have in it, which is just a tapered burr. Okay, that's all. Same on this side. Okay, now this doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Said we're just having fun with the owl, messing around with the eyes. But now I got the paint off. I have it shaped kind of the way I want to. The rest we can just manipulate with a little bit of paint and come up with eyes that hopefully look like what we're going for, okay? So the next step is I'm going to paint these eyelids black. Okay, and the bottom part here we'll paint yellow and then we'll paint the holes black also. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, here we go.
Yeah, don't mind it if you hear the air conditioner running in the background. That's the unit to the house. I think you could still hear me okay, though. We're about to paint these eyes. And I have two brushes. The first one's going to be a little bit wider brush. It's that, and it's got a little bit of a fan on it. It really doesn't matter. It's got an angle to it. And then I want one that's also going to be one like this. It's a little smaller. I'll hold it away from the camera so you can see. Okay, and that way I can get inside and do a little bit more line art and stuff with it, you know, for underneath the eyelids. So, I basically just use a high gloss acrylic paint, right? This is Apple Barrel. I like gloss and it's black. And what I do with that, I know you guys really don't need to see this, but there's Six of Stones cup holder right there, or paint holder. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour some paint in it. This paint I could actually water down because it's kind of thick. And that way I don't have to keep going and reaching for it. I just bring my little cap full with me because I'm only doing eyes. And we're gonna paint that top lid black. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we can dress these up with paint more and more as we go. And any mistakes or overpainting we can correct with more paint. Okay. That's all I'm doing there. I go on this side. I actually even have sawdust in there. Make sure you wipe the sawdust now first. Don't be like me. I just tape in here so I didn't really think about it but you should clean that sawdust out there we go well, we have to start at two eyelids what I use this little brush for is to make that a little bit better on the bottom and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the inside Now they don't have to be perfect right now. Because once we paint the yellow in there, we can adjust the black afterwards, right? And another thing I like to do is go around the whole eye on the bottom, the top, everywhere with black like this. Okay, can you see what I'm doing there? And that'll make that eye stand out more. And we'll clean the rest up with the yellow. Like I said, walk across here again. I'm trying to stay out of the camera so you can see. But we're going to paint the whole face here and uh, give you an idea how to dress these little basic owls. How to dress them up a little bit. Make them a little bit more interesting to the customers when you want to go to sell them. Okay. And then, of course, we do our beak black and everything once we carved it more. I really wanted to carve this more, but I'll give you an idea. Oops, drop that brush. That's in the sawdust. But once you paint the beak, I'll put some black on that. I really should get rid of some of this sawdust on here. And now our owl's starting to come to life a little. A little too much paint on this brush, but 
you get the idea. Let me wipe some of this off. I really should card this more, but uh, that's okay. Because I'm not really selling them. I make them pretty fast, and I'm not really selling them for too much. And these are quick little 15 minute, 20 minute carves. I just move them for 50, 60 bucks. And, but the more I can dress them up with paint, the more easy it is to do that. Okay? Because it looks like you did a lot more work than you actually did. Okay? And that right there will give us the black that we need. We'll let that dry. And then we'll add the yellow. And it'll make everything pop. Okay. That's what I do once I have the eyes carved. All right, let's move on. Okay, it's time to move on. We're gonna finish this uh, paint job here on the eyes. What we're gonna do is grab some yellow. Again, I like to use a gloss when I'm doing eyes. We're gonna put it in our cup. I'm gonna use the smaller brush. That way I can get a little bit more, you know, exact to where I'm trying to achieve here. I'm going to come over here and underneath. I'm going to try and make it as nice as we can as far as on the bottom. Keep it straight like that. Just fill in that whole space there, except for the black circle that we painted. And you can see how that makes that pop out. Okay. I don't know if you can see the yellow real good or not. But I'll show you afterwards. Now uh, let's go to the other side. hand might be in the way. I'm just repeating the same thing on this side. Now, if those eye holes aren't the same, you can always add a little more yellow or a little more black, whatever you need to make those pupils even, okay? But for now, get that first coat in there of that yellow. And we'll let everything dry and then we'll adjust from there. But that's pretty much the process of how I just do simple eyes. And it gives them a little bit different look than that depths there that they have that's just kind of straight ahead, you know, makes them look a little bit more somber, a little bit more sleepy. I think it's a good look for some owls, you know. It changes up your design of owls if you do eyes a couple of different ways and you have more than one way, you know, on each carving or on, you know, say you have three carvings like this, three carvings with another set of eyes, three carvings with another set. And I like to go to shows or markets and sell that way instead of just having them all look the same, okay? So this right here is one way I do it. And then in the next video, what we'll do is we'll take more paint and we'll mess around and I will show you how I dress up the rest of the owl. Sometimes I like to just mess with paint and make them look a lot more different. But that right there is our eyes, all right? And again, that's just a basic basic little stupid 15 minute carve all right i didn't even do the toes yet or anything but we'll what we'll do is we'll make him a little more fancy by doing some stuff like this which his toes still need to be carved also 
and then you put a finish on him, you know. But we'll take that out of there and we'll dress him up with some more paint in the next video and we'll try and make him look even more different. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. It's good to be back. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little bit of a new way to do something. And I will see you all in the next video.